Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Shalom, bro. Hey, Shalom, what took you so long? Man, I was just letting all my teachers know that Feast of Tabernacles is around the corner, and my dad would be picking up any homework I may have. But man, forget all that, man. Let's go home. It's fall break, man. What's up? Man, this year is gonna be dope. I heard it's gonna be way more people than it was last year, and ooh, the grill off. That grill off gonna be off the chain. Say, you think Oklahoma gonna take it again this year? They seem to have the best grillers in all Israel. David! Huh? D yeah, yeah, I'm listening. Uh, what'd you say again? Uh, okay, David. What's up with you, man? You ain't acting like yourself. How does it feel, Jonathan? How does what feel? To have your family in the truth with you. You don't know what I would give to have my mom, dad, my brother in the truth with me. I mean, I've been in the truth for four years and have tried to show my family time after time who we are in the Bible. And they still refuse to see it. I even text my older brother scriptures from time to time and he never replies. It's almost like he doesn't care about me anymore. Man, look, bro. You just got to be patient with them. Man, that's real easy for you to say. You got your whole family with you. Look, man, I mean, the Bible does say a prophet is not without honor, save in his own country, in his own house. My grandpa would always tell us that your family would be the hardest people to win over. But you should never let that stop you from doing what you got to do and what the Most High wants you to do. I guess you're right, Jonathan. I'm just saying... It'd be nice for my family to be awake. This is for my mother, my brother, my sister, my cousins, all of my aunties and uncles. Tell my grandmother I love her, but I ain't leaving. It's true. No, I wouldn't leave it for nothing. And if you think that I'm leaving, you got another thing coming. Cause it's the truth. Even though you said it's a lie, you would rather see me dead than alive. Man, you know. 
know that it's the truth. How you look me dead in my eyes, knowing that you're telling a lie. Man, you know that it's the truth. And these lyrics are the proof. I can't believe you tried to play me like a boo. Mama said we only doing Christmas for the kids. Can't find it in the Bible. Could you show me where it is? Brother said, bro, we don't kick it like we used to. My brothers in the truth know that we kick it like we used to. Sister always caught up in some baby daddy drama. Told her be a wife, she'd rather be a baby mama. Got a couple cousins say the hell with repentance. If it ain't about this Bible, then I gotta keep my distance. Hey, aunties and my uncles always coming with the doctrine. But that curiosity shows me that they watch out. Granny still sad cause she think I'm in a cult. Said I need to come to church, reverend save my soul. I don't really need it cause I'm keeping these commandments. I just pray the Lord, have my family understand that. This is for my mother, my brother, my sister, my cousins. I love my aunties and uncles, tell my grandmother I love them, but I ain't Look, man, you know good and well that you'll always have us. Man, we your family, too. I know, I know. I am a little scared of your grandpa, though. He's kind of crazy. Hey, hey, hey. You gonna get up off my grandpa. I'm just saying. He's kind of violent. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? Why is it so quiet here? Judea, Junior. Are y'all here? Where's everyone at? Shalom, Pops. You were sleeping so good I didn't want to disturb you. We went to get some items for Tabernacle. We'll be back in a couple of hours. Your food is in the oven. So they're just going to leave me here home alone like I don't need stuff for Tabernacles. Boy, I tell you, that son of mine is something else. Well, one thing I will say, it sure is nice to have some peace and quiet around here for once. Those grandkids of mine sure are loud. Esau is the devil. Esau is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Yeah. Yep, I still got it. Hey, Grandpa. Ah! Boy, what's wrong with you? Don't you know not to sneak up on a man when he's singing? Hey, Grandpa, I'm sorry. Calm down, man. You almost made my teeth fall out. What are y'all doing here anyway? Shouldn't y'all be in school? It's four o'clock, Grandpa. School is done for today. Yeah, we're officially on fall break. Who the heck are you? It's me, David. I've been best friends with Jonathan since, like, fourth grade. Oh, yeah, David. Okay, okay. Nope, still don't remember you. Grandpa. You know David. He used to always tell him he was named after a mighty king. Oh, little David. I remember you. And I see you awake, too. Yes, sir. Four years and counting. Four years old, huh? You're still a baby, Grandpa. Talking about four years old, boy, you still wet behind the ears. Grandpa. Boy, you probably still drinking for your mama's tea. Grandpa! What? What'd I say? Well, all praises, you awake, David. How about your folks? Are they awake too? No, sir, they're not. I've tried talking to them on several occasions, but it just goes in one ear and out the other with them. My older brother... He doesn't even talk to me anymore. All I've done was text some scriptures from time to time, hoping he would see it for himself. I guess I was upsetting him. He just ignores my calls and my texts. Would you like to borrow my cane? Did you say your cane, sir? Yeah, my cane. Do you want to borrow it? A what? Now bust him upside the head and tell him to stop playing and wake up. Oh, Grandpa, why do you always have to take it there? I told you your grandpa was kind of violent. Hey, Jonathan, go get my food out the oven for me. Y'all done made me work up an appetite. Okay, grandpa. Hey, David. Yes, sir? It's not a mistake that the Most High woke you up before your parents. Remember, the Most High's ways aren't our ways. He does things on levels that we can't even comprehend. Don't get discouraged, youngster. The Most High sees something in you. You really think so, sir? 
David, I've been in this truth for over 60 years. I've seen the Most High do amazing things. Just stay faithful and never give up. If it's meant for your family to wake up, they will. <laughs> Thank you, sir. That really means a lot. Ah, uh, no problem, youngster. Now cheer up. It's almost tabernacle time. Shalom, Israel. Welcome to Feast of Tabernacles 2019. That's right. Hurry up and get your tent set up and fire up your grills, because it's time to celebrate. Oh, man. We finally made it. Whew. All praises. I know. It seemed like it took forever to get to Tabernacles this year. I know, right? I'm, oh! Babe, please tell me you didn't forget to pack Pop's other set of teeth. Um, oh. <laughs> oh, no. You didn't. He's going to be mad. Oh, cheer up, babe. Didn't you see how happy your dad was when we got here? I'm pretty sure he's not even thinking about those teeth. Uh, you know, you're right, babe. What am I tripping for? Besides, it's the Feast of Tabernacles. I don't have any time to be worrying about another set of teeth. Pops better sit down and enjoy the feast. <laughs> because I'm not putting up with his shenanigans today. Grandpa, look how many people are here. Israel is really waking up. I can't believe that son of mine forgot my teeth. How am I supposed to eat my tomahawk steak? Oh, Grandpa, stop being so grumpy all the time. It's the feast. Be joyful. Who's being grumpy, Judea? I'm in a very joyful mood right now. And I'd be even more joyful if my son would just go and get my other set of teeth so I can eat my steak. Uh, okay, Grandpa. I'll be back. I'm about to go look for Catalina. Orale, it's a car in the house. Papa, remember your promise you made. I know, Kata. I won't tell any jokes. Unless they ask me to. No, Appa. You promised. I'm just playing. I'm just playing, Kata. No jokes. Charlie. This is really amazing. There's got to be over 2,000 people in here. You know what, This is nice. Hey, I think I see Judea's abuelo over there. I'll be right back. Hey, hey, hey. Don't go far. We still need to set up our tents. Charlie, esta niña. Shalom, shalom. Happy Feast of Tabernacles, Israel. I hope you're ready for good fun, good fellowship, and plenty of good food. I said, are you ready? Yeah! I said, are you ready? Yeah! Well, all praises to the Most High. Now we're going to get this feast started off right. I'd like to welcome to the stage a young, talented group that knows how to bring that fire. Introducing the Wolf Pack. It's the Wolf Pack, coming straight off the block. On seven deuce where we reside, mail and lace that's the spot. Time to learn another lesson at the turn of the clock. Building fat families on the foundation of rock. After recess, back to study on our grind. We switch it up and learn new subjects all the time. Just like the numbers group together, they don't lie. Striving for the kingdom all the time, till we die. No decline, no divide.
you've reached Carlos. I'm unavailable to take your call right now. But if you would leave me a detailed message, I will try my best to return your call. Hey, Carlos. It's your brother. I'm just calling, hoping you return my calls one day. I really don't understand why you cut me off. We used to be so close. I know if I couldn't count on anyone, I could always count on my big brother. I guess our lives are just going in different directions. And I'm just going to have to accept that. I pray you took the time to look over the scriptures I sent you. And remember, my phone number hasn't changed. I love you, bro. Shalom. Oh, shoot. You scared me. How long were you standing there? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I just overheard you talking on the phone. Is everything okay? Oh, uh, yeah. I was just leaving a message for my older brother. He doesn't really talk to me anymore since I've been in the truth. <sighs> yeah, I know how that feels. You do? Oh, yeah. Before I came in the truth, I was extremely close to my four older sisters. But when I woke up, they resented me. They acted like I was the most evil person to them. Wow, that's crazy. How did you deal with it? I'll admit, it was hard at first. But as I started to notice that I gained a bigger family, it really didn't bother me anymore. I mean, don't get me wrong. I still love my big sisters very much. But I can't lose sleep over them because they don't want to repent. Yeah, you've got a point. Shoot, you sound like you're handling it pretty good, though. Listen, when I heard that we were God's true, chosen people, I was beyond happy. I wake up every morning excited knowing that the kingdom of heaven is for us. I don't have time to be sad about my family that don't want to repent. Yo, that's real. Hey, that's the only way I know how to be. Well, let me ask you this. Do you ever pray your sisters wake up? Oh, every day. But you know what? That's all in the most high's hands, though. You know, you really have me out a lot. I really appreciate this. Oh, praises. I'm glad I can help in some way. Now let's get back to the pavilion. I think they're about to start the grill off. Yeah, I'm not trying to miss that. You know Paul was going to win, right? And you know it. Shalom, 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 Israel. The moment you've all been waiting for. Four men from four different states, all claiming to be the best grillers in Israel, will be going toe-to-toe -to, -toe to claim the number one spot. Who will be the grill master of 2019? So contestant number one, tell us who you are and what state you representing. Hey, Shalom Israel. My name is Ben Zion Hoshaya Arie Ben Israel. Oh, <laughs> uh, could you repeat that for us? Look, you gotta listen, man. My name is Ben Zion Hoshaya Arie Ben Israel. And I'm straight out of M-Town, Memphis, Tennessee. And let me tell you something, man. We gonna win this jump, man. That's right, I said it. Really, is what we do out there, man. You might as well just go ahead and give me the trophy, man, because these brothers out here flodging, man. In fact, man, Memphis make some noise if you out there. Memphis 10 in the place to be, in man. Town, in town, in the place to be. Funky town, Orange Town, Hurst Village, we up here. We up here, we up here, man. Whitehaven, what's up? Let's get it. Well, all righty then. So contestant number two, tell us who you are and what state you're representing. Ah, uh, Shalom, Warden. It's your boy, Joseph Ben Israel, but you can call me Yawasa, Warden. Warden. Well, Yawasa, what state will you be representing today? I'm coming straight out that blue, you heard me? Look, we don't play around in New Orleans, bro. We, we grill. We do our thing. I don't know what y'all talking about, but we grill every day, baby. Except on the Sabbath. Huh, you bro. boys better knock it off because New Orleans ain't playing no games. Huh, bro? Well, it seems like contestant number two is very confident y'all might be in trouble. So contestant number three, tell us your name and what state you represent. Shalom, Israel. My name is Yasharala Yehuda Israel Ben Israel. And I'm straight out of Compton, California. And I know you all don't think brothers from Cali know how to grill, but realistically, whatever they can grill, 
brothers from Cali can grow even better. Well, there you have it. <laughs> Yashar Allah, Yehuda, Yaya. What did you say your name was again? Man, just call me Israel. Well, Israel, you don't sound like you're scared of the competition. Look, I can grill whatever, however, whenever, and wherever. Man, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, you know what? Never mind. So, Israel, are you ready? Yeah! I said, Israel, are you ready? Yeah! Let the grill off begin. Say, man, I thought you said it was four people in this thing. Where the fourth man at, man? Oh, forgive me, brothers. How could I forget? There is a fourth contestant, a well-known griller coming out of OKC. The one and only, Deacon Abiel. Hold up, man. Did you say Deacon Abiel? Yes. The fourth contestant is Deacon IBL out of Oklahoma City. Oh, hell no, man. We can't beat Deacon IBL. He's the grill master of all grill masters. Man, if I would have known he was in this job, man, I wouldn't even signed up. Man, I quit. Y'all crazy as hell, man. Look here. Y'all dirty for this one. How you gonna put me up against the man that taught me? Man, I'm out of here. I'm gonna give me some Popeyes, babe. Well, he is right here. It looks like Memphis and New Orleans have quit the competition. You seem to be the last man standing. What you gonna do? Well, realistically, I never, ever been scared to get on the grill. Because like I said, I can grill whatever, however, whenever, and wherever. But that's Dick and IPL we're talking about. So what you saying? Are you going to quit too? Um, basically. There you have it, Israel. Still, the undisputed, undefeated feast of Tabernacles, Grill Master Champion of the World, Deacon Abiel. Man, I told you Oklahoma was gonna win this year. Hey man, I wouldn't doubt it. Listen, Deacon and Abiel are always doing this thing, bro. Listen, they can't see him. That's my Deacon. Yeah, listen, that's my Deacon too. Hey, John John, have you seen Grandpa? Hey, I told you stop calling me that. Jonathan, for real, I can't find him. Listen, last time I saw him, he was walking in the woods. I think he's still mad about his teeth. Well, I'm gonna go look for him. Are you gonna help me? Nope. I'm not fooling with those animals out there. Well, what if a coyote jumps at me? Well, listen, Juju. If a coyote jumps at you, just let him see your face. I'm pretty sure that will scare him. Ugh, shut up, stupid. Grandpa, I've been looking all over for you. What are you doing out here? Shh, there's someone in the bush spying on us. Grandpa, it's probably just a deer or something. Juju, I may be old, but I'm not crazy. There's someone in that bush spying on us. Hey, come out of there before I bust you upside the head with okay, my head. Okay, okay. Don't hit me, sir. I'm coming out. Grandpa, it's the Edomite. Why are you spying on us? Gee golly, it looks like you guys are having so much fun. I just want to come have fun with you guys, too. Well, this is a private party. You have to be an Israelite. Have you ever heard of the Israelites? An Israelite? Well, oh, gee golly, Parkers, what's an Israelite? Well, Israelites are God's favorite group of people in the whole world. Oh, wow. Well, how could I become an Israelite? You can't. You have to be born an Israelite. Well, that's not fair. I want to be an Israelite, too. I, I, I want to come to the camping party. It's not fair. It's just not fair. I'm telling my mommy and daddy. Well, 
Wait a minute there. There is a very special reason that you can't be an Israelite. There is? Well, what's the reason? Because you're an Edomite. What's an Edomite? The opposite of an Israelite. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm an Edomite. <laughs> that sounds so cool. I can't wait to tell my mom and dad. Are, are they Edomites too? You better believe it. In fact, does your mommy have a Bible at home? Oh gosh, yes. I mean, she, she has a bunch of them in her room, but she, she never reads them. Well, when you go home, young man, you go in and get one of those Bibles and have your dad read the book of Obadiah to you and your mama, okay? It's all about the Edomites. Your family is going to love it. <laughs> well, gee golly, bonkers! I have to go tell them right away. <laughs> Thank you, mister. I can't wait to tell my parents we're, we're Edomites. We're Edomites! Mommy! Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting to do that a long time. 60 years, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Grandpa, you're a mess. <laughs> Man, I hate the tabernacle. This is almost over. I wish we could just stay out for like a couple more days. Who you telling? Been out here with all these brothers and sisters who are all awake. It's like a little sample okay. of the kingdom. Well, I know one thing. I'm glad to see you're in a better mood. Now, hopefully you'll stop crying about your brother. First of all, wasn't nobody crying. You might as well have been crying. I miss my brother. He don't call me no more. He doesn't return my ticks. He doesn't like my pics on Facebook anymore. Bro, get out of here with that. I never said that. I'm just saying, David. You've been my boy since we were kids. But you were starting to work my last nerve. Look. I was just tripping to my brother started acting funny towards me. And yeah, I'll admit, I was taking it kind of hard. But what I wasn't realizing, I've had my brother with me this whole time. Oh, stop it, bro. You're going to make me cry. Man, get the heck out of here with that. Let's go get packed so we can go home. Oh, but wait. Before we leave, there's something I want to say to all these lovely people that's been watching us. Oh, you about to kick some knowledge? <clears throat> okay, check it. Most high I'll walk you up first. Keep your head up, cause I know it hurts. Keep the laws and stay out of sin. Hold the line and go to the end. My mother, brother, father, unrepentant. Matthew's 10, verse 37. But be the light and show them the way. And maybe God will show them some grace. I face the east and I start to pray. Lord, please take this pain away. I know your word will comfort me. Christ come and be my company. You know Revelation 14. Yeah, I'm talking verse 12. It's the patience of the saints and the faith in Christ. Listen, I'm an Israelite from the mighty tribe of Judah. I don't celebrate Christmas or believe in fat Buddha. But I will follow Christ And his father is in heaven And he made perfect commandments Other nations can't stand it But we're the guys on this planet So all my brothers and my sisters Who family isn't in the truth Just stay focused on God For the kingdom is in you Mama, Pops, I'm home. Where y'all at? Oh, I forgot they took a family vacation. It's funny because the real family was at Tabernacles. Mosai, I, I just want to thank you for allowing me to have the knowledge and wisdom to keep your commandments. I really enjoyed myself at Tabernacles this year. I love being an Israelite and being chosen. And Lord, I continue to pray that you wake my family up and show them the light. 
But if it's not meant for them to be in the truth, then please give me the strength to accept your will. Amen. Hello? Hey, bro. What's up? Who is this? It's your brother, Carlos. Carlos. What's going on? I was letting you know I wasn't avoiding your calls, but I just want to check all that information out for myself. And I'm going to be down there this weekend, and I was just wondering, you know, if I could um, come check out that, that thing you do on Saturday, you know? You're talking about the Sabbath? Yeah, yeah, that. You know, look, like I said, I was going to be down this weekend, and I just wanted to know if I could, you know, come and check it out with you. All right, yeah, sure. That would be cool. All right, great. I'll see you this weekend. Wow. All praise to the Most High. Give me a moment, Kayla. See you later. scream black power while Heron was pushed but at the end of the day nothing's in vain IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen many has attempted the mission minor murmuring omitting and missing the mark just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark we on Paul's mission we out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. <laughs>